Now, there are in Jerusalem more traditional sites to do with Jesus in and around the city than any place in the world. Using the scriptures, let us follow the events carefully, simply, but most importantly, let the Spirit guide us through the maze of tradition and competing sites. This program touches on sacred events, including the birth of Jesus at Bethlehem, the raising of Lazarus at Bethany, a last Passover meal in an upper room, the agony at Gethsemane, false accusations at the house of Caiaphas, political games at the judgment hall of Pontius Pilate, the crucifixion at the place of a skull, and an empty tomb in a private garden. Around the hill of Bethlehem are numerous hills, still grazed by sheep and goats. In the spring, the small fields, supported by stone-walled terraces, are planted with wheat or barley. It was hills like these that the widows Naomi and Ruth returned to from Moab. Ruth gathered after the reapers. Her good fortune was to glean in the fields of Boaz, who was a relative of Naomi's late husband. Ruth married Boaz and had a son named Obed, who had a son named Jesse, who tended flocks and crops in these same hills. Jesse's youngest son was named David, who became the king of Israel. Born at Bethlehem, he was promised by God that his seed would bring forth the king of kings, the Messiah. 